Okay, so this uh, is just going to be a quick video to show you how to use the Zoom integration in Moodle to set up and manage your Zoom sessions and how students would then access them. So I mean, the first thing you need to do is to add the Zoom activity to your Moodle course. You only need to do this once. Uh, so you, with editing turned on, you would click Add an Activity or Resource. And then you can select the Zoom integration straight from the activity chooser. Uh, I'm not going to add a second one because I already have one, but you would, you know, select this, click Add, and then what you would see would be the Edit uh, Settings screen. All you really need to do is put in uh, what you want to call this. And I called it Zoom Dashboard to make it kind of clear to my students what's going on here. You don't need to change any of these things. You would just click uh, Save and um, to add that to your course. Once you've got the Zoom activity in your Moodle course, if you click on it, you will see a simplified Zoom dashboard and it will be looking specifically at meetings that are set up for your course for accessing through your Moodle course here. You can um, use this dashboard to look at all of your Zoom meetings but just to simplify this recording I can really talk about that to schedule, uh, say you wanted to schedule office hours uh, for the rest of the semester uh, as a recurring meeting. You could click schedule a new meeting. It would have uh, the title of your Moodle course, but you could modify that to say add office hours. And let's say your office hours are going to be every um, Monday at uh, 3 in the afternoon for an hour. But you want to make this a recurring meeting and so you want this to repeat every week on Mondays uh, and you want to go for the 15 weeks of the semester. Um, you can decide whether or not you want a waiting room or if you want to have these sessions just set up so that students can come in for office hours. Uh, it's kind of irrelevant. You can just leave the passcode on. Uh, students will be accessing these sessions through Moodle as well, so you really they don't really need to know what the um, the address is for the Zoom session. But, you know all the typical kind of meeting options, whether you want the students to be able to go into office hours before you're there or not, and so forth. And when you click save. Um, you will uh, see uh, that the dashboard has set up a recurring meeting for you and uh, you know August 31st, the 7th, 14th, so forth. So that's how you would quickly schedule office hours meetings for the rest of the semester from a student perspective I'm logged into Moodle here as a student. If I go in, click on the dashboard, I too will see the upcoming course meetings and um, would just be able to say, okay, um, this is August 31st. I'm going to click join. Um, that's pretty much all it's needed to do right now. Uh, we are working with CTS to um, integrate the Zoom calendar with the Moodle calendar so that in the future when you do set up these sessions um, and if you had for example the upcoming events block added to your course then these sessions that you schedule uh, for your class in Zoom through the Zoom dashboard for that class would be tagged to the Moodle 
calendar for the class and would show up on the upcoming events. And that's really all there is to do to set up your course-related Zoom sessions.